Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your third Angular 2 tutorial and in this video I'm going to give you a very quick introduction to TypeScript. Alright, so as I've already mentioned in a previous tutorial, we are going to be using TypeScript to write our applications in this series. So as such, I thought it best to give you a very quick primer of TypeScript or at least of a couple of the areas we're going to be using more often when it comes to TypeScript. So, all it is is a superset of JavaScript and in that sense it's very similar to writing JavaScript with just a few additional extras thrown in and a couple of those which we're going to look at are types and classes although it does have more as well. So when we're working with regular JavaScript we can declare a variable like this my var equals a string and then later on in the program we could say my var equals 25 now a number. Now in TypeScript we cannot do that. We cannot change the type of a variable. If we declare a variable my var equals a string and it is of type string, then we cannot later then assign a number to that same variable. This is not allowed, okay? Now, when we declare a variable, we can also declare the type of that variable in TypeScript as well. We don't have to, but we often do. For example, if we want to declare a variable which is a string, we could say the variable name, colon, then string, which is the type, and then set it equal to a value. Same for a number, just colon, number, equal to 20, and same for a boolean and any other type as well. We also have this any type, which basically means this variable, we don't know what it's going to be yet, it can be any type. So in the future, we could set it equal to a number if we wanted to. And if we want to set it to an array, we just say colon, then the type in that array, for example, number, then the empty brackets like that, or it could be string, empty square brackets. Another addition in TypeScript, which we are going to use a fair amount in this tutorial series, are classes. And classes are very simple. It's just like setting up an object in JavaScript. We could have a class which is car, and then we give that class properties, such as this one, wheels, which is a number. We're typing right here, and that's equal to four. And we can also give it functions or methods. In this case, it's called drive, and it just logs the car is driving to the console. So then we can create a new car by declaring a variable my car and setting it equal to the car type we're typing right here because this is now a type and setting it equal to a new car instance we can also use constructor functions in classes when we're passing in data to the class so for example we want to make a new instance of this car class and we want each car to have a different speed so we can pass that speed into the parentheses when we create a new car then it's taken in this constructor function within the car. You can see right here, it's taken a variable, miles per hour, and that's a type number, that's what it's expecting, which is what we're passing it right here. Then we're saying this.speed equals miles per hour, whatever we passed in here. So then we've already declared speed up here to be of type number. So this variable or this property on this instance of the car will be assigned this 70 value, okay? Okay, so there we go. That is your whirlwind tour of TypeScript. And I know I've only kind of scratched the surface here, but really you do not need to know much more when we're making these applications in Angular 2, at least to begin with. And anything else that we do do in TypeScript that's not the same as JavaScript, I will point out and go through it as well. So any questions, feel free to leave those down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial where we're going to take a look at the core files that we created earlier.